Good morning, fans of Privateer FX. Coming at you. First day of spring. And FOMC day. And RBNZ day. Kiwis are making some rate decisions. The Americans are making some rate decisions. Until this happens, it's going to be very quiet. Let's just have a quick look at this uh, euro dollar chart. We did end up breaking this pennant, this technical pennant setup. We closed below at a four, with a 40 close. We have not made a new low yet today. We've been 40.66, as you can see, as expected, uh, incredibly quiet. And we continue to expect quiet markets until FOMC tonight couple things could shake things up. We've got unemployment data out of the UK, public sector finances out of the UK, CBI out of the UK. I bring this up because this is an interesting point for me. 84 was the clean break on the top side in cable. We stopped at 83 for three consecutive hours yesterday. Prices down through 83 should uh, find some forced selling. So this will probably attract, and I do expect if the UK numbers are bad, that there could be a more pronounced downside move. So keep an eye on that level, 139.83, uh, and we're looking for a story of negative employment figures or worse public sector finances. Elsewhere, Dollar Swiss is really struggling. Yesterday was a dud through 50. We did trade up to 95.70, but in typical Dollar Swiss fashion, it just sucks. It's not really doing much. Um, I just wanted to point out how sucky that was. Dollar Cat's come off a bit which is weird, uh, but it has to do with the oil price, which has gone up. Now we're at 130.22. We tipped through that 130.50 area in Asia last night, and here we are. I'm not really sure what to do with this. There should be support, obviously, in this 130 area. 130.10 was, was the low. Um, very similar to the cable, just like we were looking for the break through these big round numbers, the retracement and the stops below will be below 129.90. So let's keep that in mind. I don't really know what's going on there except for the fact that uh, crude... I just read this this morning. I haven't been following it too closely. Where's crude? 63, 62. Look at that. Probably some geopolitical nonsense ramping crude. We like uh, we like the crude chart, but we're just waiting for 60 to break. We think that'll be um, a momentous moment in the market. We do have. Uh, weekly petroleum inventory figures today crude stocks gasoline stocks all that stuff so but there's no trading crude right now 6360 we're not going to see 60 today um, but this could be driving the dollar cad because it's unusual for dollar cad to make this kind of move in asia anyway not too much to say this morning uh, real quick s and p's negative but again looks like a trap to me we talked about this yesterday no trade here in the S&P's um, 2725 for now Facebook got face planted yesterday that was fun um, you just want to sell rallies in Facebook so anytime it goes up five bucks you just want to sell it this 200 day moving average now should be should be interesting um, so that's interesting Anyway, that's it for now. I'll see you guys at the New York Open. We'll talk a little bit more about FOMC strategies.